Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Carl Moretti with Top Rank. Welcome to Madison Square Garden and the final press conference for Saturday's event on HBO Sports. Uh, just a couple of quick announcements before we get the program started. Um, the first fight Saturday evening will start at 6.30 sharp. Um, at last count, there was 23 remaining tickets in the box office. Well, 12 and 11 is 23, so <laughs> you guys figure it out. Um, before I uh, get started with introducing the undercard, I just want to publicly acknowledge both uh, Terrence and his team and Felix and his team for Tuesday afternoon uh, spending the day with HBO and community service projects. Uh, it wasn't made to get publicity, but I'm going to say it anyway. Terrence spent the day with uh, some veterans over in Gleason's and uh, from all accounts, it went great. And Felix was up in the Bronx, uh, in the South Bronx at a community center with about 70 young kids, uh, just hanging out with them and teaching them about boxing. And uh, I think we have 70 new fans uh, and 40 new screaming girls for Felix. Um, but it was a great event. But thank you to Terrence and Felix for spending the day with them. Um, before we go on the air at HBO, obviously, we have a stacked undercard. And many of these fighters are up here. Uh, and I'd just like to give them a quick opportunity to say hello and introduce themselves to you if you don't know them. The first fighter is from Waldorf, Maryland. He's in the junior welterweight division. We signed him about a year and a half ago. And he's just gotten better and better each fight. Um, and eventually, we're going to get to Washington, DC, and do one of the shows for him. So let me bring him up. Mike Indeed Reed. Yes, indeed. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, like Carl already just said, my name is Mike. Yes, indeed, Reed, fighting at Junior Welterweight. This is my second time at the Garden, and I just want to say I'm excited to fight. I'm excited to have my fans from D.C. come down and show you what I'm, what I'm about, you know, going for 18 and 0 right now. And I'm just ready. You know, I'm just ready. I've had an excellent camp, and I'm ready to, like I said, take over New York again. So I want to say thank you to Top Rank for giving me the opportunity again. And we know this kid can fight. We didn't know he can sell this many tickets, um, but this is a good thing. Uh, he's over 600 right now, and he keeps asking for more. So this should be fun after the press conference on who gets to the box office last for those remaining 11. Let me bring him up from Hasbrook Heights, New Jersey, undefeated Julian Rodriguez. That's his cheerleader back there who's Kyle Anderson from the San Antonio Spurs' biggest fan, but he doesn't know how to keep quiet when he's supposed to, right? <laughs> uh, good afternoon, everybody. First off, I'd like to thank all of Top Rank and my manager, Pat Lynch. Um, I'm very grateful, and it's such an honor to be part of a great show at a great venue that holds value and many memories, such as Madison Square Garden. Uh, I'm also very fortunate to fight under the Top Rank banner. Not only do I think they're the best at handling fighters' careers, but they also provide unforgettable moments for all of their fighters, such as fighting in Madison Square Garden. Um, there's nothing else for me to really say. I mean, I'm in great shape, and I can't wait to start the new year off with a great performance on Saturday. So thank you for everyone supporting the event, and I'll see you guys all on Saturday night. Um, the next fighter I'd like to introduce, uh, recently signed to top rank officially, even though he's been with us for a while. Um, I promised that I wouldn't mess up his nickname. The best prospect and soon, to, and obviously one of the best fighters in Puerto Rico, and we know where he's going, is Felix Verdejo. The second best fighter, we think, is this gentleman, and he himself is developing his own following amongst the Boricua fans. Let me bring up Christopher Port... <laughs> Pitufo Diaz. <laughs> Good job. Hi, everyone. Uh, first, I want to thank God for blessing us with this beautiful day and blessing me with all great things that have been happening in my life. I want to thank my manager, my trainer, Ricky Marquez, for getting me more than ready for all my fights and for all always looking out for me like another son. I want to thank Team Diamante for be, 
began an integral part of my career and development. And Top Brand for helping me, me take my career for the next level. I have had an uh, amazing start to year with birth of my, my daughter, signing with Torran and having opportunity of fighting once again here in New York City in the Madison Square Garden. Because all of all these things have been incredibly motivated for this fight. I have been working very hard for Ricky, with Ricky and this time I'm ready to put a great show to all the fans. My Puerto Rican people, especially my friends and family in Barranquitas. Thank you, everybody. The, uh, the next Friday I'd like to introduce is uh, no stranger to the New York fight fans. Um, he's 25-0 and 0 with 16 knockouts. And it's been a bit frustrating because uh, we seem to take two steps forward and one step back. And we know what we're aiming for in 2016. But unlike other fighters who just sit and wait, uh, this gentleman stays busy and he wants to keep active and he wants to be ready for when that shot comes. Um, one of the hardest working guys in the sport, one of the best guys in the sport. Let me introduce from Long Beach, New York, Shawnee Monahan. Thank you guys for coming out today. Um, I'd like to thank Top Rank and Madison Square Garden. I'm proud to say this will be my eighth time fighting at the Garden. And uh, I'm excited, as usual, you know, to practice my craft here and get better and better. And anyone who's ever seen me fight here knows I'm of a wild crowd. There's going to be some wild Irish, some wild Puerto Ricans, and everybody else in here Saturday night. And we're going to have some fun. And uh, I'm in excellent shape. I was training for a more prestigious fight. It fell through. But I can't afford any bumps in the road. And I'm taking this guy deadly serious Saturday night. And I'm ready to go in there and impress you guys. Thank you. Um, the next man I'm going to introduce is going to take us through the rest of the program. Uh, so we're having lunch Tuesday afternoon in Midtown. And uh, it was a, was a nice, quiet lunch. And then we ran into a couple of Fox News correspondents. And there was some small talk about boxing. And then the conversation quickly turned to politics. And uh, being Fox News as they are, asked this man what he thought about Mr. Donald Trump. And then it got real fun after that. So just thinking of elections and how politics rolls into this, um, he will be celebrating uh, his 50th year in the business. And I think either Lyndon Johnson or John F. Kennedy was the president when he did his first fight. With that being said, let me introduce the Hall of Fame and the best promoter ever in the sport, Mr. Bob Arum. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. Carl took the first part of the program because I've been tied up with my political duties. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm serious about it because this country really faces a crisis. And I'm not going to lecture anybody, but you know how I feel. I've made my position very clear. We can have hate in this country. We can have discrimination, we can't have religious tests, that's not what America stands for. And I know when the time comes for all of you to vote in the primaries uh, and in the election, uh, you'll understand what I've been saying and you'll take that into account. It's as simple as that. That's a, it's a very big crisis that we're facing. Oh, Jesus, you got me wound up. Listen, there's going to be a Republican debate tonight. These guys won't lay a glove on Trump. Give me Trump for one hour. <laughs> one hour. And maybe we'll do it in the garden upstairs. And I'm going to make arrangements with my good friend, because we've been together for so many years. Uh, all the great Kodo fights that we put on in Madison Square Garden. Uh, uh, our whole DNA of top rank is really connected to Madison Square Garden. But, you know, I hope one day before it's all over for me, I get to see a Knicks playoff game in Madison Square Garden. <laughs> Oh, 
It's been nice for 50 years. I'll see you later. <laughs> You know, uh, one of the great commissions in boxing, and I've been in boxing 50 years, and despite what some writers write from time to time, uh, the New York State Athletic Commission, I think, has demonstrated uh, what a commission should be that regulates the sport of boxing. Boxing is a dangerous sport, and the commission in New York has, by and large, done a great job of regulating the sport. And now with the new executive director of the New York State Athletic Commission, David Berlin, uh, I think uh, we look forward to even greater uh, contributions to the sport of boxing uh, by the New York State Athletic Commission. We have two very, very interesting fights in the main events that are gonna be televised by HBO. The first one, is the WBO Latino Lightweight Championship. It matches two undefeated fighters. One, William Silva, comes from the great country of Brazil, which will be the scene of the Olympics this summer, has a great, great sports tradition, uh, and uh, has, from time to time, uh, produced terrific fighters. Uh, William Silva is in that tradition, and he's been the multi-Brazilian amateur champion. He was unbeaten as an amateur fighter in Brazil. Uh, he uh, has had hard sparring for this fight with another top-ranked fighter from Brazil, Esquiva Falco, the silver medalist uh, in the middleweight division uh, at the top-ranked gym in Las Vegas. Uh, he's here with his advisor, uh, Adriano Dos Santos, and I'd like to call Adriano up to the microphone uh, to speak and to uh, introduce to you and to everybody in New York uh, William Silva. Adriano. Boa tarde. É, primeiramente, queria agradecer a Deus, é, toda a minha família, que se não fosse por eles, eu não estaria aqui. É, a Top Rank, que é a minha promotora, acreditou em mim, no meu trabalho, no meu sonho. É, como o diretor falou, é o sonho de todo lutador lutar aqui no Madison Square Garden e comigo não foi diferente. Desde o momento que eu ingressei no boxe, aos 12 anos de idade, que eu vi o Mohamed Ali lutar aqui, John Lewis, é... e sempre foi o meu sonho. Oh, I would like to introduce you guys, William Silva. Uh, William just said that it's a great pleasure to be here at New York, Madison Square Garden. It well, always been his dream to be fighting over here since uh, watching the long, long and big fights, the old school fighters. And it's a great pleasure to be here. He's going to put the best of his work. And him and Verdejo are going to have a great fight. E nós estamos preparados aí para essa luta. Fizemos uma preparação boa em Las Vegas, como o promotor falou aí. Trabalhamos com Esquiva e outros atletas invictos aí da Top Rank também. E a gente veio preparado para fazer um bom combate aí, se Deus quiser, levar esse título que já foi meu de volta para o Brasil. And we did a great work, a uh, great workout for this camp, the, in this camp. We had sparring with the, like the director said, with Skiva Falcão and all the other big fighters the top rank has and defeated. And this title was my once. I'm just going to take it back and take it to Brazil. Very often, uh, when uh, uh, writers and other media talk with me, uh, they say that with uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather announcing his retirement, with uh, Manny Pacquiao and Tim Bradley fading from the scene, that boxing will surely be dead. You know, I've been here 50 years, and one thing I'm sure about is boxing doesn't die because there are always stars that come up uh, to take the place of those who retire uh, from the sport. Uh, it's happened 
Uh, in my experience, uh, for over 50 years, when Ali retired, when Leonard retired, when Hagler retired, uh, there's always some young man that comes up to take on the mantle. And we believe that in Felix Verdejo of Puerto Rico, you have a young man who will be among those who will pick up the mantle and elevate boxing uh, to even greater heights than we've witnessed in the last 10 years. Uh, Felix has a record of 19 and 0 with 14 knockouts. He's from San Juan, Puerto Rico, uh, a place which has produced uh, so many great fighters who have fought with distinction. Uh, Felix Trinidad, uh, Miguel Cotto, uh, and now uh, Felix Verdejo. He was a member of the 2012 Puerto Rican Olympic team, uh, and he fought another top-ranked fighter, perhaps one of the great fighters today, uh, Vasil Lomachenko, the two-time gold medal winner. And in talking with Vasil and his father, I asked him, in your whole amateur career, which spanned 300 fights, who was your toughest fight? And he said, without a question, Felix Verdejo, who he fought when Verdejo was less than 20 years old. Now that's a real, without any other testament, that is a real testament for me. He's here with his manager, our good friend, Ricky Marquez. I'd like to call Ricky and Felix up to the microphone. Buenas tardes a todos. Eh, estoy agradecido por la fanaticada de Nueva York. Hi, good afternoon, everybody. I'm very thankful for all the fans from New York. Eh, estoy orgulloso de, de representar Puerto Rico y, y más que un orgullo, un honor para mí eh, llevar la bandera en alto. I'm very proud for, to represent Puerto Rico every time I go, go into the ring, and, and, and I'm just very proud and honored to, to carry the flag inside the ring every time I fight. Estoy eh, contento con la compañía Torran por la nueva oportunidad que me dan. Estar presente aquí en el Madison Square Garden. I'm very thankful also to Top Rank for giving me the opportunity to fight once again here in Madison Square Garden. Y nada, estoy ready para el sábado eh, enfrentarme a William Silva. Vamos a, a, a pelear Giel y vamos a defender nuestro invito. Y nada, lo respeto como boxeador, al igual que I'm, I'm ready for the fight. I'm ready for William Silva. Um, it's going to be a great fight. We're both undefeated fighters, and we're going to defend our, our unblemished record, but I hope, hopefully I will come out on top, and it's going to be a great fight for the fans. Good afternoon. Have a great day. This past January, Top Rank uh, uh, had the privilege of uh, co-promoting a big event in the great city of Shanghai in China uh, with our partners, uh, Seika Promotions uh, of China. And uh, a representative of Seika is here today. I'd like to introduce him, uh, Edmund Chu. Edmund? He got called away. All right, I guess he, he's left. Uh, but uh, it was a great experience uh, uh, doing that event in Shanghai, which is really the, new, uh, the, the equivalent. Shanghai is the equivalent of New York uh, in China. It's a great, great international city. And uh, uh, it's been a great thrill for us to promote fights in China. Uh, and uh, we are going back to... Uh, to Hong Kong in May uh, to do a big event, uh, and uh, we're going to bring over uh, some Japanese and Chinese fighters to Las Vegas uh, and put on an event uh, in May, uh, which will be televised back uh, to China and Japan. The fight that we did at the end of January uh, in Shanghai uh, was watched live 
by more than 36 million households. That's absolutely phenomenal, and so we're very, very excited about that. Boxing is, as you can see here, a worldwide sport, but really one of the nexus of the sport is the United States, and we still produce great young men, great fighters, uh, as a lot of the uh, Eastern Europeans come into pro prominence and fighters from all over the world, the best fighters by and large come out of the United States. And in the main event, we have two great fighters. Hank Lundy is a terrific fighter. He always performs, gives the crowd 150%. How are everybody doing? First of all, I'd like to thank top rank, you know, I'd like to thank Peter from HBO, Madison Square Garden, Team Crawford, you know, um, Team Lundy. Listen, this fight is going to be electrifying, man. I just can't wait until Saturday night. You know, I know Terrence been training hard. We've been training hard. I've been training, you know, since December. When they announced this fight, I was already on weight, preparing to fight for my, um, you know, defend my WBC, you know, continental title. But now it's for the world title. Now this is what I've been fighting for, you know, to make my, you know, my family, my kids, you know what I mean, take them and give them a different lifestyle in life. And I'm telling you, you know what I mean, it's going to be war, man. I'm coming to win this world title. And this fight right here, my, 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 my baby's going to be right there. I know your family's going to be right there. But this is the first time. I'm going to battle in front of my four little queens. And God knows the electricity. Every punch I hit you with, you're going to feel Philadelphia. You're going to feel my pain, my struggle. You're going to feel Hammer and Hank. And guarantee that night I will be the new WBO world champion. All hard work and dedication. I can sit here and go on and on, talk your head off. But all I'm saying the 27th of February, Hammer and Hank will be the new champion of the world. Thank y'all. Look, uh, fighters come from different places. We're used to fighters coming out of Philadelphia, big fight city. We're used to fighters coming out of uh, New York, we're used to fighters, particularly Hispanic fighters, coming out of Los Angeles. But it's rare that we have a fighter of the caliber of Terrence Crawford coming out of a place like Omaha, Nebraska. But it just shows that with dedication and hard work, a talented young man, wherever he comes from, can reach it to the top. Terrence was the Boxing Writers Association 2014 Fighter of the Year. He's the WBO World Champion at 140 pounds. But more important than that, he has become one of the stars of boxing. People talk about his fights in the past and his fights in the future because they like his work ethic, they like his style, and they like the way he performs in the ring. Outside the ring, we learn as we get to know the man what an exemplary person he is. We know the charity work that he does. We know the summers that he takes off to go to Africa to work with poor people in a charitable endeavor. He is truly a terrific young man and a great credit to the sport of boxing and the state of Nebraska. He's here with his co-managers, Cameron Duncan, and his co-manager and trainer, Brian McIntyre. I'd like to call Brian to the microphone to say a few words. I just want to give everybody a chance to read the, uh, the gift that we got for Team Lundy. First of all, I just want to say thank God 
for giving Team Crawford the opportunity to come to New York and to shine. Because that's one thing Terrence is going to do, he's going to shine. Second, I want to thank uh, Peter. Thank you. Congratulations on your new position. I'm excited for you and I'm happy for you. I know you're going to do great things. I already hear that you changed this thing over there already with the new pins. Um, third, top rank, Bob, Carl, um, a Angie, <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> thank, thank, and Todd, thank you guys uh, for willing to come to uh, New York and uh, to put Terrence on the big stage, the Big Apple. Uh, I want to thank the team, uh, Jack, uh, Jacque Spikes, Sal Diegas, uh, Dez Wolford, we call him Drop Him. Uh, I want to thank the nutritionist, uh, Pauline, uh, Michelle. Just want to thank everybody, the security, T. Lowe, uh, Monty. Just, I want to thank everybody. You know, I was going to take the, the low road and come and talk smack about Hank and, you know, how he want to blast me on, on Facebook and his, him and his, uh, his people back. But, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take the high road and, and, uh, and I'm going to seize this opportunity to say that I am so excited to where I'm in tears for Terrence and his sisters and his mom, his grandma. You know, I know I've been knowing them all of my life. Um, I want to just say I'm excited for y'all, his dad. I'm excited for the city, our city get to come here and, and witness a good, good whooping Hanks is about to take. Um, I, I'm just excited all the way around. Now, you, as you see, you can see these shirts are available for Hank and his team. <laughs> but. Um, but right now, I'm gonna give this to his promoter and say uh, thank y'all for coming out. <laughs> and now it's time to hear from the champ. One of the great fighters in the world today who graces the ring every time he performs from the great city of Omaha, Nebraska, Terrence Crawford. First and foremost, I'd like to thank God for blessing me to be here right now and to display my talent on the East Coast. Uh, I'd like to thank Top Rank, HBO, for blessing me with the opportunity to either fight in this uh, arena. I'd like to thank everybody that came out here from Omaha, that's coming to Omaha, from Omaha to New York to support me. Uh, it's been a great camp. I feel good. I'm excited. I'm real excited. <laughs> like the whole camp, I just kept telling Bo Nam, I can't wait till this fight happen. I, <laughs> I just can't wait. You know, uh, it's like a countdown. It's like you're just waiting for that moment. You can't wait enough for it to happen. You know, uh, in all my fights, all my fights, today is like I woke up like just so relaxed. Like, man, this dude don't know what he got himself into. You know, like everybody say, oh, I'm going to do this to him, I'm going to do that to him, or I see a flaw in this, I see a flaw in that. But when you get in front of me, you see a different thing. You know, um, I got to admit, when Hank opened his mouth today, that was the best speech you, you didn't gave the whole time you didn't open your mouth. You know, and I respect that because deep down in his heart, he know what he up against come Saturday. You know, and I just take that as a sign of respect because he don't respect me now. He'll respect, respect me Saturday. That's right. Thank you, everyone. Come uh, Saturday, don't blink because it might be a quick one.
Thank you, Terrence. Uh, now, at the time, it says, talk about the ticket prices. Well, there ain't no tickets. <laughs> and I don't know what prices they're going to charge on the secondary market, so that's not up to me. But great. Thank you, New York. Thanks, everybody, for working so hard uh, to make this a true sellout. Friday weigh-in will take place at the Madison Square Garden Theater Lobby. Theater Lobby. Uh, all fighters report at noon. The weigh-in begins promptly at 2 p.m. I want to thank uh, our top-ranked knockouts for coming to New York and being with us uh, here today. And I want to thank you all for uh, uh, the applause you gave me. March 29th is my 50th anniversary in the sport of boxing. The, the first fight I promoted was in Toronto, Canada, Muhammad Ali against George Chevalo for the heavyweight championship of the world. So it's been a great ride. There's been a lot of good times. And there's also another achievement that I'd like to mention. 30 years ago on March 10th, I put on a fight for the Showtime Network. It was the first time Showtime ever televised boxing. It was the Hagla Mugabe fight, and they've been at it ever since. So I think that that also is an achievement uh, my 30 years ago. So thank you all for coming today. It's going to be a great night, Saturday night. <laughs>